Hi boys and girls, thanks again for visiting my YouTube teaching channel. I have another read aloud for you today, and today this one is Skippy John Jones in Mummy Trouble. And notice that mummy is spelled like an ancient Egyptian mummy, not like mommy. And this is written and illustrated by one of my favorite authors, Judy Schachner. Skippy John Jones in Mummy Trouble by Judy Schachner. Skippy John Jones did his very best thinking outside the box. I see he's thinking outside his uh, litter box. And he twisted his mama's whiskers tighter than a Texas tornado. Hey, you, Mr. McPoo, said Mama Junebug Jones. Just what do you think you're doing? There's Skippy John. His little sisters are pulling on the toilet paper in their little litter boxes. And Skippy John Jones is sitting on a pile of litter shaped like a pyramid. Reading National Geographic Cat Mummies. And there's some pictures of some cat mummies on the cover. <laughs> he is always up to something. McPoo didn't say boo. He was too busy reading. Hey, little digger, I'm talking to you, said Mama, scooping up her boy. A pyramid outside the litter box will never, ever do. Then she saw his magazine. Nationally a graphic, mused Mama. And the curse of the cat mummy? Why, this will give you nightmares, boy. With an upset tummy, too, plus a puffy tail. On the grandest scale, this story is taboo. Something's taboo, it's almost like bad luck, like a bad luck curse. Mama does not look very happy and neither does Skippy John Jones. But Skippy John Jones was in no mood to listen to his mama, so he skedaddled into his room. Uh-oh. I see dot, dot, dot. That means something is about to happen. Plus, we know he gets into trouble when he goes to his room. Let's see what happens. For a really good bounce on his big boy bed. He bounced once. He bounced twice. And the third time he bounced, he said, Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones, and I do love my mummy. But if I don't bounce, I get knots in my tummy. Then the kitty boy flipped over to the mirror for a look-see. <laughs> Holy smokito! exclaimed Skippy John Jones. I know you, he said to the doggy in the mirror. Your ears are too big for your head. Your head is too big for your body. You are not a Siamese cat. Then, using his very best Spanish accent, he added, You are still the big chihuahua, dude. The whole enchilada. <laughs> and they might just like enchiladas in Egypt, thought Skippy. So the kitty boy donned his mask and cape and began to sing in a muy soft voice. My name is Skippito Frisquito. And I'm off to see old Egypty do My chickos insist, and I dare not resist. 
the chance to meet the mamamito. Mamito, sorry. Oh no, he's at it again, up to his adventures. In the meantime, his little sisters, Jezebel, Jilly Boo, and Jujubee, rolled into his room with a plan of their own. There's drawings on his wall. There's his sisters. Oh, and there, it looks like his closet door, or maybe his bedroom door. It says Skippy's, nope, closet, with a K. <laughs> Keep out. Ooh, so they are gonna do something. When they finally reach the pyramid, the doggies burst into song and dance. Oh, see, oh, say, oh, Cyrus. Our boy had a touch of the virus. He coughed up a ball, so the Finks made a call. And now it's inscribed on papyrus. <laughs> Not just papyrus, like ancient paper. But when Skipito saw how dark it looked in the pyramid, he began to feel queasy. My tummy hurts, he groaned. And my tail is getting puffy too. But his chicos would not comfort him. They just wanted their peas, por favor. Are you not El Skipito Fresquito, the great sword fighter? Asked Poquito Tito. <laughs> so Skipito drew in a deep breath and dove into the darkness of the musty old tomb, chanting, Peace, por favor, peace, por favor, peace, por favor. Por favor means please. He rocketed through the vault like a fur-covered comet. There he goes. Until suddenly, smackito! Skipito hit a wall and knocked himself out cold. <gasps> oh no. He's in the tomb and he's now he's knocked out. Soon after, three goddesses emerged from the shadows to prepare the kitty boy for his journey to the under mundo. <gasps> first, we will salt and pepper him, said Ba, the first goddess. And sprinkle him with lucky charms, said Da, the second one. Then we wrap him and roll him and bundle him tight, said Bing, the third goddess. And blow him a kiss and say nighty night. <laughs> They're wrapping Skippy up like a mummy. Then the trio rolled the wrapped cat down the ramp into the king's Burier, burial chamber. Across the room stood the 4,000-year-old sarcophagus of King Rootin' Tootin' Kitten Kabootin'. <laughs> and just as they were about to deliver El Scapito Mamito, he rolled right into the feet of the Odi Modi Mummy. Bada bing! moaned the king as he stretched out his paws. I need to rest in peace. Peas, screamed El Skipito Mamito, waking up in a flash. Oh, look, it's the king's sarcophagus. And quicker than you can say, mummies, mumps, and measles, he grabbed two paws full of peas and hightailed it home. Oh no, don't wake him up. Don't come and get him. When lost chimichangas saw El Scapito Mamito rolling out of the pyramid, they went into a real tailspin. Then all the doggies began to chant. Green chichados hot, 
Green chicharros cold. The best chicharros in the world are those that Skipito holds. But El Skipito Mamito was too scared to slow down. So he chucked the peas at his chicos and kept right on running. There he goes. Straight into the arms of his mummy. What's the matter, Fuzzy Bug? asked Mama Junebug Jones. Skippy John Jones looked back over his shoulder to see if the three spirits were still chasing him. But a bing! he wailed, dropping the last of the peas. Oh, he looked scared. I wonder who those were those three spirits, where they came from. Then three giggling goddesses raced into the room after Skippito with their puppets and a roll of toilet paper. We're going to wrap you and roll you and bundle you tight, they sang, and check for your cuties and kiss you good night. <laughs> there they go, chasing him. That night. Skippy John Jones was bouncing on his big boy bed. No mummies in my closet, no mummies in my bed, no mummies in my bookcase, no mummies in my head. Just before he closed his eyes, the kitty boy checked his room one more time for mummies. The only one he saw was his own. I love you, mummy, said Skippy John Jones. I love you too, Bunny Boots, said Mama Junebug. Now go to sleep, por favor. And that is the end of Skippy John Jones in Mummy Trouble. I hope you enjoyed your read aloud today, boys and girls. I really miss you, and I hope you are learning a little bit, relaxing a lot, and having a little bit of fun on your days off and hopefully I will see you soon. Stay tuned for more videos. Have a good night, bye.